EECP stands for Enhanced External Counterpulsation. It's kind of a long name for probably the most dramatic and wonderful treatment I've seen in the last 10 years. I've actually been working with it for about 12 years. It was first developed at Harvard University in the 1960s. Unfortunately, it stopped being used as a treatment for cardiac disease because stents and bypasses kind of took over. So the Chinese developed EECP over the next few years and it was brought back into the United States by a fellow named John Huey in 1995. EECP is a treatment for cardiac disease. What it involves is the placement of inflatable cuffs around the pelvis, around the hips, and on the legs. And you inflate these cuffs with high pressure air, air under high pressure, 60 times a minute, the same rate as the heart. And you deflate them the same number of times each minute. The effect of this is to force a pressure wave up the aorta to the heart to develop new circulation within the heart. So actually, a person who gets EECP is making his own bypasses. He has natural bypasses done in a non-invasive way without having to resort to open heart bypass surgery. A very intriguing treatment and a very effective treatment. It has been found in repeated research to reduce or reverse angina pectoris in about 70% of patients. I've seen it be effective in congestive heart failure and in cardiomyopathy and in most other cardiac situations, it can be extremely effective. We've also used EECP in non-cardiac situations, so people who have stroke can benefit from EECP. People who are involved in athletics can benefit from EECP. We have several patients who come in who have these treatments just to help them do the sports activities that we do. I'm aware of some professional athletes who've also used EECP to help them prevent injury and to increase their endurance. It's a great treatment. I've been working with it for such a long time. Basically, it's 35 treatments. They're done over one hour each day, 35 consecutive days with the exception of Saturday and Sunday. And you can usually start to see improvements in people within one to two weeks. 35 treatment is the amount that's been put down. That's the amount that's approved by Medicare and approved by the FDA. So this is an officially approved treatment. Unfortunately, it's not used by most doctors. Most doctors don't even know anything about it, and I'm also familiar with a large number of cardiologists who not only don't use it, but also think it doesn't work, and that's not true. I've treated hundreds of patients with it. I've had some recent patients, one fellow who was told about 10 years ago that he had a cardiomyopathy and that in about three years he wouldn't be around anymore. He came to me as a consultation, and we started him on EECP in the last 10 years. He's probably done over 150 treatments. He continues to do EECP twice a week, and he's going to keep doing that indefinitely because his heart disease is basically gone. He had an echocardiogram performed a few weeks ago that showed his ejection fraction was now 50%, which is basically in the normal range. He no longer is worried about dying from heart disease. EECP, along with a few other things he's done, has basically saved him. I had a patient come in last week accompanying his wife, who had become my patient. He was 80 years old and told by me 10 years ago to do EECP to treat his angina pectoris. And his angina pectoris went away after one series of treatments. It's never come back. He's 80 years old, no cardiac symptoms. I have many similar stories like that. EECP is a great treatment. It has no concern about side effects. There's no problem with using it. You don't have to go into a hospital. All you need to do is lie on a table, have these cuffs placed on you, and have the treatment given. It's paid for by Medicare. It's paid for by a number of PPO insurances, and it's a great treatment. I would strongly recommend it for anybody who has heart disease, or if you have a relative or know somebody with a problem like that, certainly you should let them know about it because conventional medicine rarely talks about it.